okay so uh, good afternoon to one and all uh, in the previous lecture uh, we have discussed regarding testing of transformer so in that uh, we have discussed some test uh, regarding single phase transformer first one test we have discussed that is polarity test right then uh, for finding polarity test uh, do you know that as i have already tell in the previous lecture if uh, we want to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel two or more than two transformer in parallel at that situation okay as i have already tell that if the two or more than two transformer operated in parallel at that situation we want to check the polarity so that the polarity test it can be conducted and it is simple so we can find out whether there is additive polarity or uh, there is a subtractive polarity so this we will already find out by conducting a test right now see again we have discussed regarding open circuit and short circuit test that means oc test and sc test by conducting oc test or by conducting open circuit test so uh, we kept uh, secondary of the transformer are open we are keeping secondary of the transformer open so if the secondary of the transformer it can be open then we can uh, call it as a open circuit test so in that open circuit test we are finding the in loss also uh, we are able to find out the equivalent circuit parameter right we are able to find out the equivalent circuit parameter uh, or at no load condition similarly uh, we have discussed regarding conduction of short circuit test that is sc test so sc test is nothing but secondary of the transformer it can be directly short circuited by is using a thick wire or it may be by using a thick rigid conductor okay so and supply is given the rated current it will be flows from both primary and secondary and if the rated current it will be flowing at that situation the voltage it will be obtained it is called as short circuit voltage current obtained it is nothing but short circuited current and the power consumption at that situation it is nothing but copper loss right so according to this by conducting short circuit test we are able to calculate the copper loss again uh, we are finding the equivalent circuit parameter that is equivalent resistance equivalent reactance and the equivalent impedance by conducting short circuit test and the short circuit test it can be conducted on high voltage winding open circuit test it can be conducted on the low voltage winding okay and for conduction of open circuit test we are applying rated voltage and for conduction of short circuit test we are flowing rated current right so at no load condition there is a minimum current we have already discussed some calculation part of the same also right now see we will discuss uh, today next one point is that the parallel operation of the transformer okay parallel operation of the transformer okay now what is mean by parallel operation and what is the necessity and how the transformer it can be parallelly operated we will discuss that can anyone tell me what is the necessity to operate the two or more than two transformer in parallel anyone hmm what is the necessity to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel don ki va don peksha अधिक ट्रांसफॉर्मर अपन पैरल मध्य पुट करना है वॉट इज द ने ऑफ दैट एनी वन ओके एनी वन हैविंग एन एनी आइडिया रिगार्डिंग दैट का लॉजिक पाठीमाग की और व्हाट इज द ने ऑपरेट 
two or more than two transformer in parallel or what is the necessity to put another one transformer in parallel with previous one yes anyone Uh, tell me what is the necessity you don't know okay see do you know that the day by day the demand of electricity it should be increases that means the uh, load on that particular customer or the for particular consumer it may be day by day increasing or as our india is a developing country so the demand of electricity it will be increasing day by day okay that means suppose we are considering one our village example if uh, and previously suppose the load demand of our area it is nothing but load demand of our area is nothing but 10 kg but do you know that day by day we are increasing equipment in our home we are increasing some other equipment in the agriculture field so that the electrical demand it should be increases okay electrical demand it should be increasing suppose initially one transformer it can be uh, installed having a capacity suppose near about 10 kg and initially that this transformer it will carry a load of 9.5 kg right now see if the equipment on that area or it may be load on that area that is load demand on that area it will be increases load demand on that area it will be increases suppose the load on that area now it is nothing but 13 kW how this transformer it will manage this 13 kW load whether it is possible to manage by this transformer huh no sir this 10 kW transformer will manage this load no sir manage 13 kW load ch demand ahe 10 kW cha transformer hai that means the maximum rating of the transformer it is nothing but 10 kW up to 10 kW it will manage what about uh, above load that means above 3 kW load it is excess load no yes uh, less than 10 kW or up to 10 kW the transformer it will share that load but if the load on that transformer it should be increases if the load increases that means again the current taken increases so transformer carrying capacity 10 kW and the transformer it will take a more load that means somewhat this transformer it may be burn or it may be burst this transformer it may be a burst right kai will load increase kela tacha capacity peksha tar what happen what happen if the load increases beyond its capacity winding damage ah uh, that means there is a Uh, burning of transformer by burning of winding that means damage of transformer now see how this condition it will be uh, managed that means suppose and uh, suppose 13 kw load is there that means 3 kw it can be extra or it may be excess it is necessary or it is uh, possible to use another one transformer that means replace that transformer and use 15 kw transformer 15 kW transformer काय केला यूज केला ओके देन इट विल मॅनेज यस म्हणजे हा रिप्लेस केला आणि याच्या ठिकाणी हा 15 kW चा ट्रान्सफॉर्मर काय केला मी कनेक्ट केला देन इट विल मॅनेज दैट 13 kW लोड बट वेदर इट इज इकॉनॉमिकल अ दैट मींस परचेसिंग वन अनदर वन ट्रान्सफॉर्मर एंड replacing this transformer that means this transformer it is nothing but now wastage a transformer wastage madhe janar na apan navin jast kv rating cha kay karnar kharidi karnar an tyacha place madhe replace karnar barobar hmm yes sir ha ah. so to it is not economical that means it is not economical as per the cost again as per the area specification or as per the requirement again suppose now at this situation the load it on that area is nothing but 30 kilowatt 
again after one year this load it will be increases up to 20 kilowatt now we are doing same condition now replacing 15 kilowatt and uh, connecting another one that is 25 kilowatt transformer whether it is good practice no sir hmm so instead of replacing that transformer previously connected do you know that day by day increasing demand instead of directly replacing we are connecting another one transformer in parallel with that transfer what i am telling suppose initially 10 kilowatt transformer is there and the load on that uh, area it should be increases up to 13 kilowatt instead of replacing this transformer i am installing another one small transformer suppose i am installing 5 kilowatt transformer in parallel with previous one 10 kilowatt transformer or 10 kva transformer okay so transformer rating generally it is in kva so we write here 10 kva and here it is 5 kva right so that means instead of replacing previous transformer as we know the demand of electricity is increasing day by day so instead of re replacing that transformer we are connecting another one transformer in parallel with previous transformer again load increases so suppose the load it becomes 20 kilowatt suppose again i am connecting one transformer in parallel suppose 10 kva transformer i am connecting parallel to that previous two transformer ya yeah, don transformer cha parallel madhe parat mi tisra transformer kay karu shakto connect karu shakto and the load it will be shared by this three or two transformer don transformer ek kay kartil total jo kay load asel te area cha te share karte right getting so what is the necessity what is the necessity as we know that day by day the demand of electricity increases to meet that value of uh, electrical demand so we need to operate two or more than a two transformer in parallel so see i am taking here example uh, of very small transformer like 10 kva suppose any one of the village there is a one substation and that substation having an one transformer, its rating is near about 200 kVA or 200 MVA. Okay. And the load, it will feed previously the load. It is nothing but suppose 195 kVA, the MVA load, it should be fed by the transformer. Now the load, it should be increases up to 250 MVA. It is possible to replace this transformer and connect another one transformer having a rating of 300 kva huh? it is possible ha purna je replace karaycha an dusra 300 kva cha transformer anun connect karaycha no sir uh, so that's why we are connecting two or more than two transformer in parallel to meet the need of electricity for that particular area for that particular village or for that particular city or it may be a state like that right so that means uh, we are connecting a extra transformer in parallel with previous transformer so to meet the electrical demand to meet the electrical demand we want to use two or more than two transformer in parallel that means we want to do the parallel operation okay we want to do the parallel operation okay so see uh, in the parallel operation what it can be done in case of parallel operation the primary of this both the transformer that means two or more than two transformer it can be connected to supply line and secondary of this two or more than two transformer it can be connected to common load right that means load it should also share by this two or more than two transformer so uh, that means it is necessary to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel because of the demand of electricity it should be increases day by day or it may be increasing in uh, that means day by day it will be increasing right getting all of you necessity yes, sir. okay now see uh, i will show that the diagram for the same that means how the transformer it can be operated in parallel that means primary of both the transformer it can be connected to a common supply 
and the secondary of the both the transformer it can be connected to common load then we can call it as a, these two transformer it can be operated in parallel right suppose see here this is the transformer a this one is the transformer b these two transformer are operating in parallel when we can call it as operating in parallel when the primary winding of the both the transformer both means दोन कि दोन पेक्षा अधिक पी दैट मीन टू और मोर दैन टू ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी आर ऑपरेटिंग इन पैरल प्राइमरी ऑफ दिस ऑल ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू अ कॉमन सप्लाय कॉमन सप्लाय एंड द सेकंडरी ऑफ दिस बोथ और टू और मोर दैन टू ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू कॉमन लो राइट then we can call it as a two transformer or more than two transformer it can be connected in parallel right it can be connected in parallel javales don kiwa don peksha adhik transformer cha je kai primary ahe it is connected to common supply and if the secondary of two or more than two transformer it is connected to common load then we can call it as a these two transformer or more than two transformer are operating in parallel operation right getting how the connection it can be done all of you getting yes sir okay now see uh, there are some of the condition to operate two or more than two transformer it is in parallel that means there are some conditions while operating two or more than two transformer in parallel so these are the some necessary condition necessary and sufficient condition so if these condition are satisfied if these conditions are satisfied then and then only we are able to apply these two or more than two transformer in parallel right two or more more than two transformer it is in parallel okay so some necessary and sufficient condition are there if this condition are satisfied jar the condition satisfy jalya taraz apan transformer parallel madhe put karu shakto getting in that some condition i will write here first one condition first one condition is that the transformer that is both the transformer or two or more than tra two transformer it should be connected properly with their polarity here it is given that means polarity of the transform so that means the polarity of for the connection it should be same right polarity of both the transformer transformer remains same so first one condition first one condition is that while operating two or more than two transformer in parallel so if this condition are satisfied jari condition satisfy asel taraz apan parallel operation karu shakto all of you keep in mind so these are the necessary and sufficient condition polarity of both the transformer remains same then and then we leave uh, then then and then we are able to apply uh, or we are able to connect two or more than two transformer in parallel then second one is that second one uh, necessary and sufficient condition the uh, voltage rating the voltage rating voltage rating and uh, and the voltage ratio that means kva rating voltage ratio voltage rating and the voltage ratio of both transformer remains same both transformer remains same right see first one condition the polarity should be same the condition hai second one condition is that the uh, voltage rating of both transformer that means suppose transformer having primary of 11 kv and this transformer having primary of 200 220 kv so this transformer are not operated parallel that means voltage ratio and the kv rating of the transformer it should be same voltage rating should be same and the voltage ratio that means kv rating of the transformer should be same again 
this voltage rating and kva ratio condition it is uh, not necessary but if this condition should be there then it is uh, that means it is easy to operate two transformer in parallel we can operate unequal kva rating transformer in parallel also that means different kva rating transformer can be put in the parallel operation okay so that this is not a necessary condition understood the meaning of sub uh, that means word necessary manje necessary manje the condition jar satisfy asel taraj karu shakto as so that this is not a necessary asel tar better rail if not there then unequal voltage ratio or it may be unequal kva rating transformer should be operated in parallel now this condition number third condition number third so this is necessary and sufficient condition that means this condition it is required if this condition it, it is not satisfied then we are not able to operate two transformer in parallel so next one condition is that uh, per unit impedance per unit impedance per unit or uh, we can call it as a percentage impedance percentage impedance of both transformer jevde kay tumhi operate karnar aha both transformer remains same or it may be remains equal right so per unit impedance of both the transformer remains equal per unit impedance or we can call it as a percentage impedance of the both the transformer of both the transformer remains equal right percentage impedance of both the transformer remains equal so this is uh, another one condition okay this is another one condition and this condition it is necessary this condition it can be necessary that is it is one of the necessary condition is that the per unit impedance all of you write this because it is a very important point that means if this condition are satisfied then and then only we are able to uh, operate two or more than two transformer in parallel taras apan don kiwa don peksha adhik transformer kay karto parallel madhe operate karu shakto right so see first one condition it is necessary third one condition it is necessary if second one it is not necessary but if Uh, there is a old, same voltage rate and same kv rating then it is better right so this third one condition is that per unit Im impedance or the percentage impedance of both the transformer remains equal or it may be remains same and the uh, last one condition again it is important condition or it is necessary condition is that the uh, reactance to the resistance ratio of the transformer should be same right the reactance reactance to the resistance that means reactance per resistance ratio x by r ratio resistance reactance per resistance ratio ratio should be same right the reactance per resistance ratio of both the transformer remains same so these are the four condition if this four condition it will be satisfied then and then only we are able to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel so all of you first of all understand this condition then we will go for parallel operation that means i have tell how it can be operated in parallel if the primary of both the transformer it can be connected to common supply and if the secondary of the uh, transformer it can be connected to common load so that means these two transformer are operated in parallel right these two transformer are operated in parallel so for operation of or for doing connection of parallel operation first of all we want to meet this condition that is we want to meet or we want to satisfy this condition if this condition are satisfied 
satisfied if this condition are satisfied then and then only we are able to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel teras apan don kiwa don peksha adhik transformer kay karu shakto parallel madhe karu shakto so first one condition it is uh, required that means it is essential if the that means wrong polarity it can be connected so there is a short circuit it will be occur right and uh, the second condition is that the voltage rating and kv rating of the transformer should be equal if such a transformer are there uh, then it is better but but if the unequal voltage ratio are there then also we are able to operate two or more than two transformer in parallel okay and the third one condition this is necessary and sufficient condition is that this is necessary and sufficient condition is that the per unit impedance or we can call it as a percentage impedance of both the transformer remains same or remains equal and last one condition is that the reactance per resistance ratio that means x by r ratio x by r ratio of both the transformer remains equal or same so if these four condition are satisfied then and then only we are able to operate this two transformer in parallel right uh, getting all of you lakshya dala kahe yes sir okay see uh, we want to derive one uh, derivation related to that if the same kv rating transformer are operating in parallel so for that we are considering or uh, we will just consider that okay if this condition are satisfied here is given also same polarity same tens ratio same phase sequence and same voltage ratio then the transformer are connected in parallel then transformer it can be connected in parallel now see we want to derive one little bit derivation related to that uh how the transformer it will be shear the load that means we want to calculate the load sharing if the two transformer are operated in see these two transformer are connected in parallel how we can identify these two transformer are connected in parallel kaise identify karna ha huh? how we are identifying Uh, how we are identifying simple diagram in front of you if the primary of both the transformer it can be connected to common supply secondary of both the transformer it can be connected to common load then we can call it as a, these two transformer that is transformer a and transformer b are operated in parallel or it may be or connected in parallel see all the condition are satisfied condition satisfies all led and then we are uh, doing this connection or operating these two transformer in parallel having an same voltage ratio or it may be same kva rating same voltage ratio and same kva rating right so baka same voltage ratio ahe or same k ahe both the transformer sa all condition are satisfied that means percentage impedance of both the transformer uh, transformer remains same x by r ratio of both the transformer remains same and polarity of both the transformer remains same also the kv rating of both the transformer remains same all condition are satisfied and we are operating these two transformer in parallel okay so see we want to derive simple derivation one derivation is that the uh, equal voltage ratio transformer if these transformer are operating in parallel equal voltage or equal kv ratio uh, equal voltage ratio transformer transformer operated in parallel operated in parallel right if this equal kv rating or the equal voltage ratio transformer if it is operated in parallel if 
if it is operated in parallel now see we want to uh, write down what it will take voltage what is the current what is the impedance so first of all we will write that now see consider or it may be let this is the transformer a this is the transformer b here it is shown transformer a having an impedance of za and transformer b having an impedance of zb that means za and zb it is the impedance of both the transformer impedance of both transformer okay see here in the diagram i have already shown the impedance of transformer a is nothing but za the impedance of transformer b is nothing but zb again the transformer a it will carry a current of ia transformer b it will carry a current of ib that means current of each transformer current of each transformer or the transformer it will carry a current of ia and ib that is transformer a it will carry a current ia transformer b it will carry a current ib go unmuted there is a little bit disturbance who is unmuted okay ah uh, then uh it is connected to common supply so that common supply v1 is nothing but common supply or it may be supply which is given to both the transformer and at the load side vl is nothing but vl it is nothing but common common terminal voltage of the transformer common terminal voltage of transformer right common terminal voltage of the transformer then uh total current carrying by this transformer suppose we are considering baga ya transformer na carry kela ia this transformer uh, this transformer it will carry a current ia this transformer it will carry a current of ib so total current to the load idil total current flowing through the load uh idil total current i no that means i or here it is represented il so i is nothing but total current flowing to the load total current i total current that means total load current or total current flowing through the load side and this current it is nothing but i is equals to summation of current flowing from ia or summation of current through the transformer a and current to the transformer b current flowing from transformer a and current flowing from transformer b right lakshya dala it aparan hello yes. what i am telling just transformer a and transformer b are operating in parallel we are just considering transformer a having an za impedance transformer b having an zb impedance all condition are satisfied transformer a carry a current of load current of ia transformer b carry a load current of ib so total current flowing through the load it is nothing but summation of this current or apply kcl at this point ya yeah, point la kay kela kcl apply kela okay now see if we are drawing its equivalent circuit yacha jar mi equivalent circuit diagram draw keli common supply is there and common load is there Uh, that means suppose i am drawing a equivalent circuit diagram all of you draw same diagram so common supply is there here it is v1 or here it is e or it may be ea at the primary side it is equals to eb at the primary side right no transformer current flowing from primary it will be same and here the current flowing from both the transformer it is different that means here it is current flowing from one transformer ia current flowing from other transformer is nothing but ib a uh, transformer a having an some of the impedance resistance and reactance so this is nothing but za here it is one resistance and impedance it is nothing but this resistance is nothing but zb 
and it is fed to the common load that means common load connected across this acha across kai kele common load connect kele suppose this load having an impedance zl or it may be a load and it is having an terminal voltage of vr right i have drawn one equal circuit diagram regarding that right getting so equal circuit diagram draw kili we want to derive one derivation that means we want to calculate the load shared by each transformer that means we want to uh, calculate the value of current ia we want to calculate the value of current ib also we want to calculate the power shared by transformer a and power shared by transformer b now see i will draw uh, this data this one okay see from this equivalent circuit diagram we have written if the if we are applying kcl at this node so total current or it may be we are applying kcl to add this node so i is equals to total current flowing through the load that is i is equals to current flowing from transformer a plus current flowing from transformer b that is i is equals to ia plus ib i is equals to ia plus I mean. Now see, these two transformer are in parallel. These two transformer C in this equal and circuit diagram. So the parallel there is a uh, drop across parallel connection. It would be same. So that means I am writing here I A into Z A. It is nothing but voltage drop across transformer A. Similarly, I B into Z B. It is nothing but voltage drop across transformer b so ia into zda is equals to ib into zb so from this equivalent circuit or from this diagram i have right here ia zda is equals to ib zb because in the parallel operation this voltage across parallel point remains equal right lakshat ala te kase equation ala lakshat ala ka tumcha yes sir yes sir now Just calculate the value of any IA or IB. IA की वाली IB ची value calculate करा. Suppose I am calculating the value of IA. So IA is equals to just shift this ZA to the right hand side. That means uh, IB into ZB divided by ZA. So IA ची value calculate के लिए. So IA is equals to IB into ZB divided by ZA. See, this is equation one. This is equation two. Put this value of equation two in this equation one. Put this value of equation two in the equation one. So, so we will get the value of current I. I is equals to. Now put the value. I is equals to I H value put kili. That means I B into Z B plus Z B divided by Z A plus I B. Right. I is equals to I B into Z B divided by Z A plus I B na uh, plus I B plus I B. Now see here I B we will take common I B common get la what is remaining so I B take common in the bracket one plus Z B divided by Z A. Right, so I is equals to I is equals to I B into one plus Z A Z B divided by Z A. Now see, solve this bracket or just do the cross multiplication. Current I is equals to current I is equals to I B into Z A plus Z B divided by Z A. Just we are doing simplification. That is Z A plus Z B divided by Z A into I B. It is nothing but I, right? ये तो बरेंद का एडिशन है कौन वाला? Up to that. Okay. Now see, I want to calculate the value of I B. मतलब I B ची वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करें चाहे, so I B it is equals to shift this bracket term to the right hand side, left hand side. 
सो इट इज नथिंग बट जेडीए हा जेडीए जो डिनॉमिनेटर ला है इट विल बिकम्स न्यूमरेटर दिस न्यूमरेटर टर्म इट विल बिकम्स डिनॉमिनेटर सो जेडीए डिवाइडेड बाय जेडीए जेडीए डिवाइडेड बाय जेडीए प्लस जेडबी जेडीए प्लस जेडबी इनटू टोटल करंट आर द लोड करंट ऑफ द ट्रांसफार्मर सी आई हैव डिराइव्ड वन इक्वेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ करंट टेकन बाय ट्रांसफार्मर बी इट इज इक्वल्स टू टोटल लोड करंट इनटू जेडीए डिवाइडेड बाय जेडीए प्लस जेडबी जेडीए डिवाइडेड बाय जेडीए प्लस जेडबी सो दिस इज द लोड करंट शेयर्ड बाय ट्रांसफार्मर बी गेटिंग एक लक्ष्य आल सिमिलरली इफ वी पुट दिस वैल्यू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए सो वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए इट विल बी गेटिंग दैट मीन्स आई ए इट इज इक्वल टू टोटल लोड करंट आय इन टू जेड बी डिवाइडेड बाय जेड ए प्लस जेड बी राइट सो सी फ्रॉम दैट कंक्लूजन इज दैट द लोड करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर ऑल ऑफ यू पे अटेन्शन करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज इक्वल्स टू लोड करंट इन टू अपोजिट इम्पिडन्स डिवाइडेड बाय सम ऑफ बोथ द इम्पिडन्स बपोज करंट शेयर बाय ट्रांसफॉर्मर ए इफ वी आर कैलक्युलेटिंग देन लोड करंट इनटू इंपिडेंस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर बी डिवाइडेड बाय सम ऑफ इंपिडेंस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर ए एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मर बी सो दिस इज द फाइनल कंक्लूजन दैट मींस द लोड शेयर्ड बाय ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो फॉर्मूला लोड करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज इक्वल्स टू लोड करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज इक्वल्स टू लोड शेयर्ड बाय ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज इक्वल्स टू टोटल करंट आय और लोड करंट आय इन टू अपोजिट ट्रांसफॉर्मर इम्पिडन्स डिवाइडेड बाय सम ऑफ ऑल दी ट्रांसफॉर्मर इम्पिडन्स राइट सो ऑल ऑफ यू राइट लिवन गया सगले डेरिवेशन हाउ मच डोंट नो Yes, yes, but how much? Or, Dala? Yes, sir. One minute. I will take attendance. <clears throat> okay. Uh, see. We have calculated the current shared by each transformer. मतलब प्रत्येक transformer कितनी current share करे? It should be depends upon impedance of the transformer. So I A that is current share by transformer A. It is equals to total load current into opposite transformer impedance. That means transformer B impedance divided by sum of impedance of both the transformer. दोनों ही transformer चाहे impedance ची sum. Okay, so this is the करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर करंट शेयर्ड बाय ईच ट्रांसफॉर्मर गेटिंग इज देर एनी डाउट है नहीं 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 नहीं
okay similarly we want to calculate the kva rating or it may be kva carried by each transformer what is kva kva is nothing but power so kva carried by each transformer pratyek transformer na kva rating kiwa kva manje kiti power carry keli te pan aplyala calculate karaycha so suppose suppose total kva of the transformer that is total load kva total load kva of the transformer it is nothing but load voltage v into current taken i that is load current i into 10 raised to 3 it is nothing but k we rating barabar na phi i ani 10 raised to 3 is nothing but k barabar na or 10 raised to 3 is nothing but multiply by 1000 kg kilometer like that so it is nothing but kva so suppose consider the yes we are representing here total load kva yes is nothing but total load kva load voltage v into load current i into 10 raised to minus 3 now see suppose we are considering esa is nothing but load carried by or the load kva carried by transformer a carried by transformer a similarly yes b it is nothing but load kva carried by carried by transformer b right load uh, kva carried by transformer b suppose sa is nothing but load carried by transformer a similarly sb is nothing but load kva carried by transformer transformer uh, b right so v into i into 10 raised to 3 or it may be uh, we are writing here v into il and into kva we are representing kva so that here it is minus 3 yeah? equation it is given in vl that means our value it is nothing but v into l we are representing it is in the k so it is nothing but minus 3 so see now if we want to calculate the if we want to calculate the kva carried by each transformer so see according to formula so sa is nothing but load carried by transformer a and sb is nothing but load carried by transformer b so load carried by transformer a it is equals to voltage vl into current of the transformer a transformer a current kiti carry karta hai आई ए राइट नो ट्रांसफॉर्मर ए इट विल कैरी अ करंट आई ए इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री नाउ वी हेव कैलक्युलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए आई ए ची वैल्यू अपन कैलक्युलेट के लिए सो इट इज नथिंग बट वी एल वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई ए टोटल करंट आई इन टू अपोजिट ट्रांसफॉर्मर इम्पिडन दट इज झेड बी डिवाइडेड बाय सम ऑफ इम्पिडन्स ऑफ बोथ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर इट इज नथिंग बट झेड ए प्लस झेड बी Into ten raised to minus three. Okay. See, uh, what is V L into I into ten raised to minus three? V L into I into ten raised to minus three means what? Total load K V. Total load K V. That is yes. So yes into Z B divided by Z A plus. zb so this is the load kva carried by transformer a see similarly load kva trans carried by transformer b it is equals to i will write directly s yes into za divided by za plus zb so this is the load kva carried by transformer b right load kva carried by transformer b again conclusion here so load carried by transformer a it is equals to total load on the transformer or total kva of the transformer into opposite transformer impedance or it may be whose which transformer it can be operated in parallel that transformer impedance divided by sum of impedance of both the transformer sum of impedance of 
both the transform similarly sb is equals to total load kva into impedance of opposite transformer divided by sum of uh, impedance of both the transform so we are sa is nothing but load carried by transformer a sb is nothing but load kva carried by transformer b and s is nothing but total load on both the transform or total kva load on both the transform so this is related uh, derivation it is very simple related to when two transformer having an equal kva rating uh, we have uh, derived derivation like finding a load current carried by each transformer after that we have find out a load kva carried by each transform okay uh, all of you getting yes sir is there any doubt anyone कुणाला काय डाऊट आहे का ओके सो इन दिस वे वी विल कंक्लूड दिस टुडेज लेक्चर अँड वी विल स्टॉप हिअर थँक्यू